what's up everybody it's Gigi welcome to my youtube channel i missed you guys today i am going to show you how i style my hair so i always style my hair like this and you guys always ask me how do i get my hair to look like this so today i'm here to answer all of your guys' questions and to show you how i do it I recently posted my hair care routine to my Instagram and my TikTok, but I feel like like the hair care routine, like the shower hair care routine, that's what we all know, right? What comes after the shower, you know? What products do people put in after the shampoo and conditioner? I have my hair wrapped in a towel right now, so let's take this out. I actually heard, well, I've seen it everywhere on TikTok that you're not supposed to like wrap your hair in a towel because apparently it's really bad. For your hair i have been i think i've been doing it for 23 years of my life which is basically ever since the day that i was born this is what we're working with today this is what my hair looks like when i come out of the shower and i have done nothing to it i haven't brushed it the only thing that i've done is washed it with shampoo and put a little bit of conditioner in my hair so the first product that i put in my hair before i brush it out is a hair oil and i've talked about this on my platforms before but i actually cannot live without a hair oil i'm going to show you guys two of my favorites so this is the coco and eve miracle hair elixir it looks like this it's so amazing and it smells amazing too and then i also have this whey hair oil that i love as well but i don't know if you guys can see but i'm out of this so wait if you're seeing this sponsor me please i'm just gonna put a bunch of oil on my hand and then i'm just gonna warm it up like this and then i'm just gonna run this through the ends of my hair when like when you put a hair oil in wet hair you do want to make sure that the oil is really thin um i've used hair oils before and they feel really thick so for example castor oil is a really really thick oil and and that's why i wouldn't recommend putting that all over your hair because i feel like it does more bad than good like your hair doesn't absorb the oil it's gonna look greasy it's gonna look bad so make sure that the oil that you're using is like very thin you get what i'm saying i put all of the oil on the lengths of my hair and then also on the ends just making sure they're nice and oiled up next up is brushing and this is the brush that i use i actually have a couple brushes like this this is the tangle teaser wet brush and it's like my favorite brush in the whole entire world like i feel like no brush compares to these like i don't know plastic brushes i don't know what it is but it gets the job done like it's so good so i brush my hair i always start from the ends and then work my way up because you don't really want to be like tugging too hard on your hair like if you have knots and stuff like that it's best to start from the bottom and this is why i put the oil in as well like i would never brush my hair without any product in it like i need to have some sort of slip this is what my hair is looking like right now and normally i would stop like this is pretty much the only product that i would use as a hair oil so after the hair oil i would go into blow drying but i actually have recently started um, using a hair mask in my hair like once a week twice a week nothing too extreme so i'm also going to do that today and i'm using the k18 hair mask and it looks like that you have probably seen this all over tiktok as well it's amazing i know it's a little bit expensive but it's honestly so worth it like the way this hair mask makes my hair feel and you only need the tiniest bit of this too do <sighs> okay that just came out but i usually just do one i think i'm out of this one so i'm gonna have to grab a new one i had to grab a new one because i was out of the other one so let's open up a brand new k18 i usually do one pump but because i already have some on my hand i'm just gonna take about this much like this is all you need okay then you're gonna warm it up in your hands like it doesn't look like too much right now but when you warm it up it's called emulsify you need to emulsify your hands will look white and now i'm just gonna run this through the lengths of my hair this is just one of the masks that i really really love i do have a couple of other ones i love the coco and eve um hair mask i use that sometimes too i'm gonna let this sit for four minutes you don't have to wash this out like after this you can just style your hair as normal so i'm gonna wait like four or five minutes and then i'm going to 
actually style <laughs> this is my blow dryer and i love her with my whole entire life like this blow dryer i swear nothing compares to it okay this is the dyson blow dryer i know it's fucking expensive it's actually insane but I do feel like it's worth it. The air wrap, on the other hand, in my opinion, that's a different story. I don't think it is worth all the money. Well, I just don't feel like it works on my hair, okay, the air wrap. But the blow dryer, I'm gonna blow dry and I'm also gonna show you guys my technique. So what I do is when, like, while I'm blow drying, I also brush my hair and just kind of, like, do that with the blow dryer. Like, I go in with the brush and then I just follow with my hair dryer, like that, until it's dry. done blow drying and then it looks like this really fluffy and big um i just bring all my hair to the front oh i have a knot in the back bring all of my hair to the front and then i just take my brush again and then i do brush it out once more and then we open the curtain <laughs> jeez all right there she is then i am gonna go the extra mile today okay make it look even more so sometimes i use this hot brush this is from everyday hair this is the 30 millimeter hot brush i love using this to create like the little flick in the ends that you always see and i also love to style my front pieces it makes it look like you just got your hair blown out at the salon it just gives it that little that little extra it only takes me like a couple of minutes to do i'm gonna do one side and then show you guys the difference okay so this is the difference in my hair this is if i would just normally blow dry it and this is with the little hot brush and that was it guys this is how i style my hair after i come out of the shower i do this like twice a week because i do wash my hair like twice three times a week well usually two and i do this whole process every single time after i wash it i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you have any more questions about my hair or the whole process whatever then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below because i love chatting with you guys make sure to be subscribed to my youtube channel and follow me on all of my socials which is at georgina juanita and i will see you guys back in the next video bye